All right, you guys, so Greg killed that awesome bar hog a couple days ago. Came out to the ranch and it's been hanging in the cooler. So I'm gonna show you guys how we break it down. Get it ready. Need some help? No, 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 no. I didn't want to drag his, I didn't want to drag his teeth across the, uh, across the ground. All right, y'all, here's the deal. This is Greg's hog. And uh, this is actually my truck. I've never showed you guys my truck. This is a 2002 Chevy Duramax quad cab. And then I worked with Tim Natilio and we built this whole flat bed. Built it just the way I wanted it. Put a crane on the back, totally redid the interior. Um, and now we're getting to use my crane. This is my Silver Stag combo kit. It's got my Skinner with a gut hook. It's also got a nice little boning knife. Take that window right there, that, that top beveled edge. Couple. Try to hold it at about a 30 degree, 30 degree degree angle. It'll hone the edge. Now that's not gonna give you an edge, it'll just hone it, make it where it razor sharp. Now, if you're cleaning hogs, you gotta have a sharp knife. Instead of going in the Achilles tendon right here, I go higher up, right underneath the hoof really strong and the reason is I want to keep all hair off of my meat. Take that gut hook just like that. Follow that right up. Right up just like that. Just like that. Good. Now whenever I did my deer skinning video how to skin a deer a lot of you ask, well, what if the deer's gutted? You do it the exact, exact same way. Nothing's different. Once you get down here, you can cut through. Just like that. Look how nice that meat is. Nice and tender. Put that over the back. Come around here. Get his, uh, his goods, throw that right over the back. Now if you look, there's no hair on this meat. Just let this follow right back, just like this. There's his cape to get mounted. Now I'm gonna go wash my hands and we're gonna quarter them out. Now we're gonna start off, we're just gonna cut these shoulders off. We're gonna follow this, stay right along that rib cage and get all that meat. Follow it right up. You don't wanna get up here too high cause you'll start getting the, the back strap. Look at that. Instead of using a saw, I'm just gonna joint this. Cut it right here. Where'd you learn that? 
My daddy. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen you do it a few times. Cliff's out here. You know, you, you can't come out here and not get heckled. That's just the way it is. <laughs> nice shoulder. I bet you that shoulder would be good on that smoker. Yeah, I think. Who taught me how to dejoint? Who? Like that. Oh, yeah? Come in here. Right at the uh, back of the hip, back of the hams. Get to that backbone and cut right, right down alongside that backbone. Just like that. Use your thumb to pull it away from the away from that backbone, and then you're going to start filleting it. Don't they call that a boneless pork chop? Uh, they, I call it a backstrap. A pork chop or backstrap? Yeah. Okay, so here I am cutting out the boneless backs or the boneless pork chops. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you right now, Cliff, this is going to be one tender hog. I mean, this meat is just, it just feels so tender. Look at that. One piece of hair. Get that off there. Look at that. Now this time, because of the way I'm right-handed, I'll come over here and cut down this outside and get once you get it going then you can see a lot better Who doesn't like a big old rack of ribs? These aren't baby backs, folks. These are hearty, hearty spare ribs. Now, nice layer of fat on them. I'm sure, and look, this thing is still like, Still shave you. <laughs> Those are the tenderloins. Whammy. It's always nice having something at a level you can work at. Cut around that bone. Cut out there. Cut right down the center there. Do the same thing on this side. Okay, now look. Get in the light, see that ball? Right there, that socket, right there. You're gonna stick your knife in and open that up. Just like that. And the same thing on this side. Stick your knife right in that little socket. When, you, when you're when you're doing the whole entire thing, worrying about the camera, which what the camera seeing? I'm not criticizing. Uh, I just hold. said it would be fun. <laughs> okay, so out of that whole hog, that's what we've got left. That's all we've got left right there. There you go. Set this up here, and when you joint this. There's a, you can feel that indentation right there. Take your knife, and it'll, it'll work its way right through that joint. There you go, ham, one 
last ham and we're done with the quartering process. Go right there to that. You like your angle cooler? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I keep it padlocked on my truck. <laughs> right. Okay. That in there. Now we'll get our. So when you've got one of these little tenderloins on a deer or a hog, you can grab a lot of this tissue and peel it right away. So if it's got any hair or dirt or mud or anything on it. This hog's gonna be so tender. Go ahead, put it in there just like that. See like that, it's got a little bit of yuck on it. You just grab it and peel it off. The dogs don't seem to mind the yuck at all. Got nice. Waldo all freaked out. Got them all cleaned up. Now. Yeah. All right, so come in here, right here, and just follow that, follow that, that uh, the line right there. Just open it up. And you'll get all your all your muscles just like that. And what happens like this doesn't take up so much room in your cooler. Now this is like country style, right? This is cracker, Florida cracker. Just get the meat off the bone and eat it. If you if you wanted chops and all that, you'd need saws, band saws, and yeah, it would take all kinds of freaking. Time, yeah, if, right? I mean, this is I'm showing you how to process a hog with a pocket knife or with a knife. We use a lot of this. That's that entire ham boned out. There's your boned out ham. And I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna grind all that into sausage. I've actually got a divider in this cooler so we can keep the drinks on one side and the meat on another. These silver stags are made out of D2 high carbon steel, which means you can get them really, really sharp and they're gonna hold their edge for a long time. But they'll also rust and discolor on you because they're the high carbon steel. It's a, you know, there's a compromise there. I want a hard, sharp knife that's really gonna last. That's why I use these, I love them. But make sure you clean them, and then what I do is uh, I put a little oil on them. I actually spray Pam on them. Okay, so I understand a lot of you are not into hunting. This isn't your thing and you watched it merely as entertainment. But you've got to understand, as land, as land managers, as ranchers, as hunters, and as providers for our family, you've got to hunt. These wild hogs, unchecked, can destroy property. They're also really good to eat. That's why getting to take moots out on Mr. Gene Cooper's land and hunt that hog, it was awesome, it was a great time. Then to come out here, clean the hog up, we're gonna have some great food. It's a win-win, and whenever uh, when Moots gets his head back from the taxidermy, he'll be able to relish and remember that memory for the rest of his life and show his kids about his very first bow kill. Big old bar hog down here in Central Florida. So please, if you would, subscribe to our channel. Be a part of us. 
I mean, this is our life. There's no makeup, no make-believe. We're not blowing things out of proportion. We tell it as it is. These are our friends. These are my dogs. Sarah's at the house because she's tired right now. This really is our life and we really, really appreciate you guys. Please thumbs up the video, leave us a comment, let us know what else you want to see, or what you thought about this video. And 